Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wise star Robin Brown is under criticism after some fans recalled an episode exposing her biggest scam in the family. The 45-year-old has been condemned numerous times for using Cody and the ex-wives for her own profit. Until recently, some Reddit users debated a moment from an old season illustrating how cruel the fourth wife has been. Keep watching to discover the stunning proof. Sister Wives Robin Brown's Lavish Lifestyle Robin maintains the most opulent lifestyle compared to her ex-sister Wives. Many Sister Wives viewers have seen her wearing pricey pieces of jewelry during season 18 and its spin-offs, Tell All, Look Back, and Talk Back. Many further accuse her of utilizing the Brown family's money pot for her personal wants. Some followers also suspect her of having an addiction to buying. But other Reddit users suspect it's not the only big scam Robin has done in the family. Robin's Biggest Scam Exposed Robin has been accused for reportedly making her former sister wives pay for her debts when she married into the family. However, some Redditors think it's not the only questionable thing she has done, According to the poster, an episode from season 17 revealed Janelle exposing one of her former sister wife's darkest secrets. She claimed that she provided half of her income from her Vegas property to help Robin purchase her house. We also, at that time, pooled a lot of money from the joint family account to help get her into that house, she added. Janelle's outbursts arise from her aggravation after finding that Cody wants to buy Christine's house as an investment property, while she wants to invest her own resources to build a home in Coyote Pass. Here are some of the comments from the Reddit users. This is financial abuse crystal clear as day. The IG3 were absolutely ro-bet by Goblin Sobin. Mary also gave money from her house sale as well to help buy the house, both ladies were loyal to the family and believed they would be done right by Cody and Robin. I really wonder if Janelle actually knew at this point what money was in the account. I would wager that K and R had been spending it and not disclosing that. That's why Cody never wanted to build. He realized there was no money. Just can't get over how transparent Cody and Robin were about driving the others away once they got their hands on the family money. Sister Wise, Robin Brown's suffering from her own antics. There have been allegations that Robin is now suffering from her own activities following the departure of the three other wives. Viewers have noted her miserable face during the tell-all, look back and talk back. She'd have firmly stopped Cody from speaking many times as well, hinting that she was tired of hearing his outbursts. Additionally, Cody and Robin Brown are apparently struggling financially in Flagstaff and are now looking to downsize, but it seems that they're back for another season, which Christine and Janelle have already confirmed. MUI Brown has offered fans a unique view into her bed and breakfast. The new snap comes after fans lambasted the sister wise actress for its excessive costs. In the past, Mary asked fans spend $6,000 to stay at her bed and breakfast for a few days. Now she's asking for a different price. On Friday, Mary uploaded a pic of the stairs inside her B&B, &B, Lizzie's Heritage Inn that's located in Utah. In the image, the TLC celebrity showed off the mint green wallpaper, and the patterned staircase complemented the wall. Located on one wall were two little paintings. One contained a boy wearing a blue suit posed in a field on an overcast day. In the other, a woman stood wearing a flowy pink dress and a matching hat supposedly beside the water. She captioned her post detailing the pictures, I've always loved these prints of pinky and blue boy that I've had for years, and with a recent little update to the stairwell at at Lizzie's underscore heritage underscore inn, this seemed like the perfect place for them. It's how me Last January, Mary pushed her fans to consider a weekend at her inn, for the price of $6,000. In partnership with Real Life Retreats, Mary was offering guests the chance to stay at the bed and breakfast for a few days in February and enjoy a pleasant weekend of pampering. 
Mary opened the video by telling her 822,000 followers at the time, Hey there folks, I am here at the bed and breakfast. Lizzie's Heritage Inn, and I have some information for you. We have so many fantastic things planned. So it's going to be February 16th through the 19th, right here at the bed and breakfast. She continued, So, it's going to be about love, of course, because it's February. So rest, rejuvenation, indulging oneself, connecting with new friends and old friends. Mary went on to confirm that customers have three alternatives to pick from when reserving, which are Supreme, Elite, or Elite Plus. She informed potential customers, and then you just need to get here to the B&B and &B on February 16th, and I will take care of the rest. That's a lot of money. However, when fans went to the website and found a Supreme Stay costs $4,000 and an Elite Plus would cost $6,000, they turned to the comments to have their say. Six thousand dollars? What on earth could that include? I'm truly fascinated, one person wrote. Another fumed, most of the user is struggling putting food on the table and purchasing medicine and obtaining medical treatment and you charge this amount. I used to support her but nah. A third individual observed, that's a lot of money for three days in Utah, and not much is included, and a fourth said, I'm pulling for you, Mary, but these costs are excessively exorbitant. Someone else remarked, she's out of her friggin' mind, believing $6,000 is a viable expense. To spend time with her, hard pass here. And a different individual added, I love Mary, but $6,000? I don't comprehend the mentality here. I manage a food pantry and there are folks, children, that are literally starving and live in motel rooms. I just couldn't spend that sort of money to hang out with Mary, even if I could afford it. Someone else joked, apparently she didn't learn the first time she tried this. Six for what? And a love lesson from you. But see you are and pricey is. For those interested in booking a couple nights at Mary's bed and breakfast, pricing are indicated on her website. There are four different rooms potential guests can pick from and range in size and the number of beds. The East Room contains one king bed and is offered starting at $300 a night. The B Room contains one California king bed and is available starting at $250 a night. Sarah's Room starts at $250 a night and features two twin beds inside. The final room is designated the Grandma Room, which features one queen bed and two twin beds, starting at $300 a night. Sister Wives actress Michaelty Brown has frightened fans with a seemingly slimmer-than-ever body after shedding 75 pounds. The TLC star shed the weight after having her twin kids, Archer and Ace, last winter. Many admirers have accused the reality star of taking Ozempic to shed the weight, but she's knocked down such claims. Christine Brown's kid has continued to shed the pounds, and fans worry she could have gone too far. On Thursday, Michaelty caused alarm when she published an Instagram story video of her and her husband, Tony Padron, showing off their biceps in the gym. The mom of three donned a loosely fitted black shirt with the sleeves pushed up as she displayed her strong arms to the camera. Tony was a little more modest about showcasing his fitness improvements, while McKelty enthused about his success to her fans. However, fans got apprehensive that the TV star could have overdone it in the gym and aired their concerns in a popular Sister Wives website. Fans re see she dons. It started after one admirer posted the clip, commenting that McKelty looked very thin compared to the beginning of her weight loss journey. Why do these girls shed that extra weight and then persist on losing? I heard she starts maintaining, rather than continuing to lose, someone another commented. They're both shrinking. I hope they are remaining healthy, a second wrote. Michael T is looking very unhealthy in this pic, observed a third. She does have that nice home gem, so I'm sure that helped, another commented. Many others were certain Michael T's reduced physique was a result of using the diabetic medicine Ozempic, which a number of celebrities have turned to for rapid weight loss. 
CLAPIing Basekiki. In November, my Kelty blasted off social media trolls' suggestions she was taking the controversial medicine to secure her small form. I am not. I am drinking a supplement drink and going around with three kids, she replied in the comments of an Instagram photo. Cody Brown's daughter is also a parent to a two-year-old girl, Avalon, with Tony. Mike Helty has praised the vitamin drink Plexus with helping her adopt healthier habits, although she acknowledged that it's not the primary reason for her weight loss. Hi. I simply wanted to clarify a few things. Plexus is not a weight loss company, and it is not the only thing I've done to lose weight, she noted in another post. Plexus is a gut health startup, thus its purpose is to help you internally, and inside, when your body is healthy, you end up showing on the outer when you feel good on the inside. Michaelty subsequently emphasized that Plexus is not a quick fix, and she's been focusing on her diet and overall lifestyle to keep the weight off. Thanks for watching if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.